Arce Sister visits the Key West Butterfly and Nature Conservatory. So I was like with my plain Pokemon Go and then I saw this little nice Poke stuff. I usually just pass by there when I'm in Key West but then I'm be like, oh, I just go on and see. I wonder if this is just like weird, I wonder if it's just like a silly little shop or if it has like actual butterfly. So here are some of the little items I saw here and there. And then, voila! Lots and lots of butterflies. Look at them go nice and graceful. The entrance, in order to see the butterfly, there's a small entry fee. It I think it varies between, depending on the time of year and so forth, and how much they are in, and if the shop is not doing well, then I suppose the price go of admission might go up. Or if they're doing fine, they might go down. Don't forget, this is like managed by like normal businesses, not like by a big corporation. And butterflies require all sorts of food and care. So the price of admission goes into feeding the little butterflies, which are a lot of little tiny mouths. Whenever a butterfly reaches its natural end, I saw that they pres beautifully preserved them. They may no longer be alive, but they are still very pretty. I should have shown that in the video. Anyhow, here's some nice little butterflies. I hope you find this little video. Relax. Oh look, little birds. They also raise little birds here. This is like very, very useful. Because I have a butterfly in my garden too. And I've been thinking about how to draw different types of butterflies. So it's very important to take note of the flora and fauna that draws each type of little butterfly. I should have eventually put out some banana. Who knows, maybe I might draw in this beautiful... I think they're called blue morpho butterflies, yeah. I learned, I learned I learned about those butterflies from Animal Crossing, if you can believe it. <laughs> There's a little habitat for the little tiny birds. In addition to tiny birds, they had like, like the little nice flamingos. Flamingos from time to time visit Florida and the Caribbean as a whole. It's so nice that at least in Florida things are warm enough so that butterfly skin exists at all times of the year. We must all be thankful for that. It's a nice little relaxing little trip of little beautiful butterflies. Ooh, little tiny bird. Tiny bird. Tiny bird. And now we're reaching the end of the little tour. As you can see, those little red flowers are the main ones that feed the butterflies. Even the tiny little birds like the seed. It was just an overall relaxing little experience. Ah, uh, when my kid and I was like afraid most of the time. I fear for my butterfly, for my life. Those butterflies, they came out of the trees, man. They were just coming at me. And I was like, personal space, man. Sometimes you just gotta confess that you're just like, super afraid of bugs, even if they're butterflies. 
Like I face my fears, my butterfly fears. I was just scared. And why is that guy epic walking toward me? <laughs> That's a lot of weirdos in, in Key West. And this is where the butterflies are hatched. Once they're strong, they're released into the sanctuary. And I've got myself a nice little butterfly ring. Bye bye and God bless.